Hey guys, it's Steph and I'm back with another video. If you guys are new here, welcome to the channel. Thank you for subscribing. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you haven't subscribed yet, check out some of our content. If you like it, subscribe. We have a, we have a vlog channel, Steph and Tasha Vlogs. Link is in the description below. Also, y'all follow me on TikTok at Steph Loves Love. Y'all want to see me going live. I'm about to do something fun on live in a couple days, so, so follow me, guys. All right, so today I'm going to be, going to be doing an Indian food mukbang, and we're going to talk about cat, because cat, cat been out here showing out, okay? So hopefully y'all seen the interview, and um, y'all can chime in as well in the comments. Are you guys ready? Let's get into the video. That's Tasha, that's Steph. Let's go ahead and fill in the rest. We gon' eat a little, prank a little. Our story time is the best. Have you LOL when you click play? Nah, no, this ain't no click bait. All right, y'all, I'm back. Okay, so y'all, uh, today, this, this has been a rough morning, y'all. I didn't sleep well last night, and then had a lot going on. Woke up way too early. I'm tired, but I'm here, okay? I'm here, guys. So I got, this is curry chicken, chana masala, sag paneer, garlic naan, riata, and mint chutney. Time to eat. Y'all, woo -wee. I'm hungry. Mmm. I really wanted some, um, I wanted some Caribbean curry, y'all, but we don't have any close by. So, I settled on Indian curry. This is actually my first time trying Indian curry, and it's pretty good. Mm. Oh, yeah, that was great. So yeah, I was up pretty late last night, y'all. And I don't know why my body thought it was gonna be cool to wake up at six today with barely any sleep. So I went ahead, I didn't feel bad when I woke up. So I went ahead and stayed up. Bad idea. Right and now it's two o'clock. And I'm like crashing. Okay? And I got stuff going on later. This is about to be a mess, you guys. Anyway, so I think Kat did his video, I mean his interview. Or they posted it a couple days ago. I had heard about it from friends. They were like, you ain't seen the cat video yet? You ain't seen the cat video? I was like, no, I'm watching them more. I'm seeing memes. I'm like, oh, what is he saying? I don't really follow like the drama that goes on in entertainment much. So I don't know history on whatever he might have been going through with other comedians or just people in the entertainment industry at all. So just letting you know where my perspective of things is gonna come from. Somebody that don't know the history of the stuff. Okay. So last night, I was like, yeah, let me go watch it right now. <laughs> I thought it was going to be something fast, y'all. I'm thinking 15, 20 minutes. I go on the damn thing. Cat been over here talking for three hours, y'all. Cat done did a three-hour interview. All up and in people's ass. Okay? <laughs> oh, God. If you ain't seen it, I suggest you go check it out. Okay? I thought he was dropping a lot of good gems, just for life in general. But the way he was in these people, I don't know. Well, if that don't give a damn, I thought I didn't give a damn. Okay. Said 2024 is the year of truth. Okay. It showed us thing like it. A lot of things are being revealed, y'all. You know? Be careful. I feel like karma is coming full circle. So hopefully you've been acting right. Because you can't run from me. You cannot. <clears throat> um, 
I have. So I I watch well. I'm not gonna lie. I watch probably two hours, y'all, and then I'll just like will start to zone out. It was just so much, and it was so late for me. I was tired already. So, but what I did was I um. I saved a few portions that I wanted to discuss further, you guys. So after I eat a little bit more, we gon' we gonna run through that. This is really good. So how y'all doing? Hope you're having a great week in or had a great weekend. I don't know when it's coming out. Friday. I got this blue raspberry pickle kit with all kinds of Takis and all kind of crap. Y'all see what they be doing on TikTok. So I got one. I think I'm gonna do it on TikTok Live. If y'all want to see me trying it, follow me. Follow me on TikTok, y'all. We be over there having fun. I think I better get started on the cat because I have several clips. Hopefully they don't copyright me. I, hope, I don't know if they will or not, but if they do, <laughs> it's going to be a short video. I'm going to have to get all that out. Alright, y'all. One more. One more Indian curry sandwich. Mmm. Mm -hmm. I love Mr. Sack for here, y'all. All right, y'all, want to be my laptop over here? Um, let's go play the clip that I saved. Um, I'm not really trying to let y'all see from this. Sorry. <laughs> and I have watched all of these low-brow comedians come here and disrespect you in your face <laughs> and tell you straight up lies. <laughs> He said low brow. Now low brow means unintelligent or uncultured, y'all. So he straight up came up here calling these people dummies from the, the first look. What is that? That was within the first five minutes, I believe. So I was like, oh. Why you didn't ask him why has he played a woman in more movies than he's played a man? And I don't know why he would lose a child and come on the air and start lying. That's why people believe in rituals right there. Cheers. What y'all think about that? When he see, um, I think he, who was he talking about? I think he was talking about Ricky Smiley. What do y'all think about him saying that? He caught me off guard with that, but I felt like that was kind of a low blow. You're bringing up the fact that someone lost a child. He could, you could talk about Ricky Smiley all you want. I feel like he could have left that part out. What do you guys think? I feel like that was a little bit much. Even when you are trying to expose the truth, I think you have to have some morals and like some kind of boundaries with what you are going to say you know what i mean so that was a little bit too much cat i think what do you guys think he was so egregious i put in my contract that i won't work with ricky smiley again unless he's in a dress now what was ricky smiley's next movie was it first sunday did he wear a dress in it you bet he did it's in my contract Him now what did he mean by that okay first of all that's petty as hell that he would even put that in his contract but how can he control what the next movie would be for Ricky Smiley through his contract. Like, that doesn't, I don't know if he's trying to be funny or what, but I don't, I don't see that being realistic, right? I just think he's, he's clowning, basically. And Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. So, oh. <laughs> How you gonna throw Tyler in there? Tyler, like, what did I do? He mad at Tyler too? A contract. Him and Tyler Perry can't play a man to save their life. So why would he say it? Because he's a liar. Nobody knows why liars lie. Hello? I like when he said that because I feel like everybody is always trying to um, create their own storylines for people's business. And it's like, well, why would this person lie? A lot of liars make up shit and you, nobody knows why they're doing it. It doesn't make any sense to people that don't want to lie. It don't make sense to people that like to live in reality 
Okay, so just because it don't seem right that somebody's lying, don't mean they ain't. Okay, doesn't mean they ain't. We need to stop believing everything that um people just say. Cedric's sitting here telling you why he ain't a movie star. He over here look like a walrus. You didn't say nothing. He can't even get his arms off his stomach sitting over here. But why I'm not a movie star? What? I don't say any of these things if my name is not breached by these people on your platforms. Okay, wait, the walrus, he, 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 I think he's putting comedy with trying to bring some truth to whatever he's saying, y'all. But <laughs> the walrus was funny. There's, there's a lot of people out here saying like, why is he out here exposing things or talking about other black men or whatever. So what he just said was, I'm not trying to be out here down in my black brother y'all already done talk shit about me now i'm here to respond okay you know what i'm saying so i don't feel bad i don't feel bad I, like i said i don't know the history but if they out here talking about him it's only right to, for him to come back and respond especially if it's lies sometimes i feel like the good people get the short end of, of the stick because you got the people out here spreading lies, trying to get other people against the good people. The bad people are the ones out here with no values, just doing anything, running wild, creating lies. And the good people are over here being quiet. But good people usually don't, they don't want drama. That's the thing. Good people usually don't want drama. So when things come up, they like, I'm, I'm just going to ignore it. But then it's like all these lies on you. Nowadays, it's like you have to come online and respond. Because you're not about to tarnish my image. He's coming hard on the asses though. He's coming hard on the asses for sure. Charlie. Why Earthquake not in movies? Because he's illiterate. He can't read. And they found that out when they gave him a show and put the cards in front of it. And this is the age of truth. And, and, and the truth doesn't need to be scared of the fact that people tell lies. say don't be afraid to tell your truth okay especially if it's lies over here running the scene quit lying quit lying and you ain't got to be exposed i only put on comedians that are funnier than me anybody that ever told you differently was a fat phase on liar <laughs> he's so damn petty for their program you get a light skin weird face wife it's a lot this is like he 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 out here being petty why you gotta bring the wives into it, y'all? Some some of the stuff I feel like he didn't need to say. Like I don't feel like the wives should come up, especially trying to call them ugly. <laughs> leave 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 the other people out of it. They ain't got nothing to do with this. Steve Harvey telling people he used to be homeless. That's my story. That's not his story. Steve Harvey was never homeless. They just tell the stories. This my thanks to my wife, I'm where I am. You said that about the first wife. You forget that. You. <laughs> Told us it was her, then you went and married somebody else that think like a man. Mm. I feel like a lot of people do that. Um, well, we've seen people do that in the industry. They are with the woman, high school sweetheart, or somebody they was with before they got famous. And then once they get famous, it's like, I feel like they have more options. So they're like, eh, well, I can upgrade and get to this other thing. Be careful with that. Be careful with that. I mean, it works for some people, but I feel I just feel, still feel like there's some kind of karma situation that might happen, especially you with a ride or die. Then you want to upgrade. Grass ain't always green, the baby. It didn't happen, and I, I I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart life. <laughs> he is petty though. He is petty, but I get what he's saying. Sorry, y'all. That think like a man. It didn't happen. And I, I, I hate to seem like a petty individual for picking apart lies. But Jussie Smollett going to keep lying until you say we don't believe you. I was, they canceled me for talking about Harvey Weinstein before the thing came out. But he offered to suck my ass in front of all my people at my agency. Uh, Steve, in front of all the people though, y'all? He's very bold. Okay. Told you that he stopped doing stand-up because he has seven TV shows. He stopped stand-up because he got in a comedy battle and lost because Cat Williams said he was actually bald and that was a wig. I, is that a wig, y'all? Why, why am I just learning this stuff? <laughs> I did not know. Is he being petty or is this real? Does Steve Harvey have a hair? A wig? 
Oh, true. Have you ever been on tour with any of these guys? So, mm -hmm. no. Ricky Smiley has been playing the same old black woman forever. Like, you can't get a young fan base with that. Probably reading 3,000 books a year from the time that I'm eight years old to the time that I'm 12. 3,000 books a year, y'all? A year. Now that comes out to about eight books a day, I think. Eight books a day. What kind of books are these, y'all? Is this like the two-year-old books with like three, <laughs> three words per How are reading eight books a day? How? Okay. What was the disagreement about? If, if you t say that my family is very religious, let's just say I'm not. So anything that I, I'm going to do is not is going to fall out of the guidelines. Right. But I'm not going to let you tell me what I'm going to be, even especially what you're saying is wrong. I, I don't tolerate high school games. I didn't go to high school. I don't I don't know how most of the games they think I play. I'm not even aware of. Ain't that crazy when you um, deal with certain people and they're on a different level than you. They're playing the game and you're just trying to live life. So it's like, whatever you're doing, you're doing it alone, sir or ma'am. Okay? I'm not playing the game. Go do that shit with somebody else. It's plenty of people that like to play games and like to lie and like to do this. Find them. Leave me alone. Okay? I feel like this, this is just cat just fed up. Leave them alone. Go play with somebody else. Life is only five or six different types of people, and you're going to see them everywhere that you go. And all, like, all my enemies all look the same in the eyes. And I won't stop burning you down until there ain't nothing left. It'll literally be rubble on top of rubble, and I'll still be bombing. Why? <laughs> because that's why you should mind your business. Mm. This is what mm. F around and find out is about. Right. Everything said here. Uh, so you believe if your talent doesn't support it, you should fall by the wayside and the guys that have the talent and they get elevated, they should move. No, that's what water says. That's what the universe say. The universe say the levels. I'm nobody, but I'm working every day as if I think that's what should happen. Is how it should be. And I'm choosing comedians that also write and work hard and don't steal other people's material. And I this is every industry, y'all. This is every industry. I mean, every place I've ever worked, every career I've ever had, you always have people who aren't working as hard. You over here playing, you coming in late. Then you wonder why you're not getting anywhere. You want everybody else to do your work. You lazy, okay? Like, I understand what he's saying. I feel him. I'm sorry, I feel him. Don't be don't be texting me asking me to edit your videos. Can you ask me what edit program do I use? Yes. Um, where can I find an edit tutorial? Yeah, you can ask me that. You can ask me how do I put in a clip of something. But don't call me asking me to edit your fucking video. I've had it done, guys. The nerve, okay? <laughs> the nerve. The Chris Tucker that we got now is Epstein Island. Chris Tucker, oh, not ooh. Smokey. Oh, Lord. I don't know what that's supposed to mean. To be confident and not delusional is a real skill. He was <laughs> Michael Jackson's best friend. Christmas? Michael Jackson called him Christmas. You ever met a man that gave you a little nickname like that? No. Mm -mm, me neither. <laughs> <laughs> you financed your first stand-up. You had 20, it cost you 22,000. You had 25 to your name. Yeah. Why, why did you decide to do that? You believe that much in cat? I believe that much in business. Hello. In business, the goal is for you to become independent and be the boss, take the responsibility, and also get the profit. <laughs> How can I be looking for you to put me on if I wouldn't? My goal was to get this far in Hollywood and still have a virgin asshole. He's stupid. <laughs> what he was saying before about... He put both of his money into his first thing himself. You have to take a risk and you have to invest in yourself. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you don't believe in you, ain't nobody gonna believe me. Okay? And then I feel like when you put when you put yourself at risk, you're gonna work harder. If you put your own money into something, who trying to lose that? Now don't do nothing dumb. Make sure you're ready and prepared, research, 
planned out well, you got your budget ready, don't just throw your money away. But yeah, save, get out of corporate America if that's what you want to do, and do what you want to do. But make sure you're ready, okay? And when you invest in yourself, you're going to take it all the way serious. Trust me. <laughs> now, I've had to turn down $50 million four times just to protect my integrity and that virgin hole I was telling yeah. you about. Because P. Diddy be wanting to party. And oh. tell he said, P. Diddy be wanting to party. <laughs> 50 million, though? Ah. Three times? Ah. Uh. No. Well, I did. Um, See, I got the receipts for everything I'm telling you. That's why I just said. We say he got the receipts, y'all. I hope they don't call him on that. I'm, I'm pretty sure he's ready to, to put him out. Please don't look at my net worth. I saw my net worth. I I had that on me. <laughs> <laughs> my net worth is less than my last Netflix deal. <laughs> y'all know what he's saying, right? All that shit on the internet is trash, okay? Y'all gotta stop believing what y'all, what people just writing. Don't nobody know what nobody's net worth is? They just be making stuff up so y'all can sit there and drool and look at stuff and they can have your attention to to promote ads so they can get money stop believing this internet stuff <laughs> you understand what i'm telling make you it makes sense <laughs> <laughs> but i'm fine whatever i don't have it's <laughs> only just because i don't have it it's not because i can't get it all i gotta do is want it and it belongs to me I'm <laughs> That's how Diddy be feeling. No, come on, come on. <laughs> I don't have a type of woman. Every woman that I ever had as a type, I ended up getting her. Now she's not the type anymore. Now I understand well, okay. that every woman is a one of one. Yeah. But I told you that me and a couple of dudes on my staff sometimes have to cohabitate. Nobody finds a problem with that. Yeah, so it's me and three ladies cohabitating because that's how the business gets done. Cat over there living his best best life. Okay. <laughs> like I don't want a chef that scratches his nuts for it cooks. <laughs> right. That's why most people don't have the empathy and the sympathy that they need to have for other people. Mm -hmm. It's because they haven't seen other people. Right. Like if you went to Ireland and you saw what them people was like, if you really went to Africa and you really saw what the people was like, you would see that all people is the same. The same. Way more people. That's good. Here's his quote. All people that love the truth gotta be happy if the truth coming out and lies is getting exposed. That's just what time it is. 2024. 2024. I like what he said about the people. Because the question the guy asked him was where what's your favorite place that you visit or something like that basically he was just saying wherever I, i'm about to go next i love all people and i love getting to know different types of people but when it comes down to it everybody is the same we all going through the same type of stuff period no matter what so all we all trying to hate this and hate that why what, what you wasting your time we supposed to be happy that's what that's what this world is about Quit lying about people, y'all. Just tell the truth or shut the hell up. Don't even, I mean, you, you don't even have to say anything. That's one option. That's a really, really, really good option, actually. Just being quiet, you know? Then you don't have to, lie. go write it, a lie in a, in a book or something, and you can read it to yourself. All right. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Let me know what y'all thought about Kat's interview in the comments below. I'm about to go, y'all. Till next time, I'm on your vibes.